Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to 3 Now. My name is Jack and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the new stamp feature in Mosaic Manufacturing's Canvas 3D software. So, you might know this company Mosaic Manufacturing for making the Palette and the Palette 2, which are these awesome machines that splice together filament to make multicolor and multi-material models with your 3D printer, which is super cool. And their slicer is called Canvas. It's an online slicer which cuts up our models into the different colors that the, the palette will then use to print out the multicolor models. So they actually added a new feature to Canvas 3D, their software, just a few days ago, and it is really awesome. It's called the Stamp Feature. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. In this video, we're gonna click New Project first. And we see here our build plate. So I'm going to add an object first to show you this new Stamp Feature. So I'm gonna drag in a model right here. And we're gonna to want to make this face flat on the bed. So we're going to click uh, the more, lay face to bed, pick a side, and it's gonna put that right on the build plate, which is awesome. This is gonna be just a quick little test print to show you how to stamp an image onto this part. So the stamp feature takes an image and projects it or stamps it onto our 3D model. So usually with CAD, this, has, this takes a long time to make different models and select colors, but now this makes it so easy to put an image on a 3D print. So we can see here, we have our object. I'm gonna click on that. And we're going to select the colors for this print first. So let's uh, keep blue for now. Let's do a yellow, let's do a gray, and let's do a black because those are the four colors that I have out on my workbench right now. So the part color is gonna be blue and we're going to go to paint selected. So now this is their painting section of the slicer. So we can select the colors for this model that we're gonna print. So up here you can see is the new stamp feature. So we're gonna click on that feature now we're in the stamp section. But first I'm going to orient my model so I can see it face down, which makes it easier to stamp the image on. So we're gonna add our image. So we're gonna click upload image. I'm gonna drag in just my logo to make it easy. We're gonna see here that's going to parse our image into the primary colors of the model. And then it's gonna make us select which colors from the image wanna to translate to the colors in our project. You see they're up here. So black goes to black, which is good. Green goes to, I don't have a green in the project, so I'm gonna select yellow. White goes to gray, that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna keep that for the final colors. I'm gonna click confirm, and there we go. This is our stamp. So now I'm going to resize it, and let's put it in the center of our model here. There we go, looks good. So now I'm gonna click place stamp, and it's that easy. Now we have a multicolor model. So I'm gonna click save and return at the bottom right here. I'm gonna save the changes and look at that. Super easy. Here's our approach block on the left and we have a four color model. It is so easy to add an image to your part now. So you can see here, I have the part on this print bed. I have it for my Ender 3. So I'm going to click slice and it's going to quickly slice the model. It's actually pretty quick for an online slicer. And there we go. You can see we have our, our project block on the left here and our multicolor model. Up here, we can see that's gonna take just over an hour, which is pretty good for a four color print. And we can go through the layers over here on the right. You see our blue, the infill, and then at the top we get, there we go our multicolor logo stamped into our part. It is super cool and so easy. This feature makes printing multicolors so much easier. So now all I have to do is download this or send it to my Canvas Hub and print it out on the palette. So thanks again for watching guys. I hope you liked this video. It helped you a little bit and showed you this cool new feature on the Canvas 3D slicer. So thanks for watching guys. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Subscribe if you like 3D printing videos like this, and I will see you all in the next video.